If you're learning to use AWS, one of the key skills to know is how to monitor and log information about your applications. But what makes AWS confusing is that this functionality is split across four different AWS services, each offering one capability that the others don't. In this video, you're gonna learn about the four most important monitoring and logging services that AWS offers. Firstly, you'll learn how to monitor your applications in real time. Second, you'll learn how to debug your application's performance. Third, you'll learn how to keep track of who is accessing your application's resources and when they're doing it. And finally, you'll learn how to inventory the resources in your account while keeping track of the changes to their configuration to ensure they stay compliant. Knowing what these services offer and when it makes sense to use one over the other is a key skill to have in your toolkit. So let's get into it by talking about our first service used for real-time monitoring, Amazon CloudWatch. CloudWatch is one of the most important services in all of AWS. It's what I consider to be a foundational service since it's so intertwined with all the other AWS services. CloudWatch's main purpose is to help you observe the health of your applications and get notified when things go wrong. There are four main features of CloudWatch that let you accomplish this. The first is metrics. Through the CloudWatch console, you can view numerous application and service metrics to understand the state of your system. You can analyze trends over the long term or drill down to the minute level if need be. CloudWatch offers numerous out-of-the-box metrics to look at your infrastructure, but you also have the ability to define your own if you'd like. You'll likely be using CloudWatch metrics quite a bit to understand how your application is behaving and root cause potential issues as they arise. Using metrics help you understand your application, but simply having access to a metric on a dashboard is useless unless a person or system is constantly monitoring it. This is where CloudWatch alarms come into the picture. CloudWatch alarms help you get notified when specific metrics that you're interested in rise above or below a certain threshold. For example, you can create an alarm that fires when the latency of your application rises beyond five seconds. You can customize the metric, the time period, and actions you take when the alarm fires. What makes alarms particularly useful is that you can set them up to get automatically notified when they fire. You can get SMS notifications, emails, or pages to your cell phone using third-party integrations like PagerDuty. Overall, alarms are a key tool to automatically monitor the health of your applications and proactively notify you of issues before your customers start to experience noticeable impact. Dashboards are another very useful feature of CloudWatch that allow you to analyze numerous metrics all at once to identify broader trends. Using the CloudWatch console, you can create your own custom dashboard and include metrics that are useful for your application. This can include service health metrics or business metrics, and you can even embed badges that represent alarm statuses right into your dashboard to really understand the state of your system at a glance. There's a lot of customization opportunities here, allowing you to add bar charts, line graphs, pie graphs, log snapshots, and a whole lot more. Dashboards are an extremely important feature that bring together the most important metrics and alarms of your system into one unified view. Finally, and one of the most important, CloudWatch is the service that contains all logs for both your applications and the services you use on AWS. CloudWatch collects these logs for you and makes them accessible in their easy to use UI. Most services emit logs on their own without requiring action from you. These types of logs can be key to debug issues or identify how a specific service was set up. Separately, you can publish your own application logs to CloudWatch. This approach is dependent on what AWS service you're using to host your application. Now, if your application emits a large volume of logs or you'd like to perform more analytical style queries, CloudWatch Insights is a great tool to have at your disposal. It uses a custom SQL-like language to perform queries. But with the aid of the recently launched AI tool, you can easily convert text-based prompts to the corresponding query. Logs are a core component that lets us understand what our application is doing, and CloudWatch is the service that brings all of this information together. Now, a quick side note here, I've created how-to videos on each of these topics on my channel, and I'll share links in the comments and description if you'd like to learn more. So now that we know how to monitor our applications in real time, how would we go about debugging performance problems with it? This is where our next topic, debugging, comes into the picture. 
and the service that helps us do that is AWS X-Ray. AWS X-Ray is a distributed tracing service that helps you debug your applications and understand performance bottlenecks. One of the key components of X-Ray are service traces, also known as application traces. These traces help you visualize the invocation of your application to understand where time is spent. For example, maybe you have a Lambda function that takes a long time to execute, and you want to understand why. Using X-Ray, you can see how long it takes to interact with a DynamoDB table, an S3 bucket, and other AWS services that you call. On top of all of that, you can even add custom traces to any part of your code that you'd like to analyze. This makes X-Ray an invaluable tool for analyzing the behavior of your application. Another important component of X-Ray is the service map. Service maps help answer the question, how does my application work? By giving you a visual representation of all AWS services your application interacts with. The service map feature is fully interactive, allowing you to drill down into specific dependencies to understand their performance characteristics. All in all, X-Ray's traces and service map help you deep dive into the nuanced behavior of your application to understand their bottlenecks and how to address them. So now that we know how to monitor and debug our services, let's now learn how to keep track of all the actions that are inside our AWS account. This can be considered auditing, and the service that helps us do that is Amazon CloudTrail. Amazon CloudTrail is a security and compliance-based service that's primary role is to help you track events across your AWS account. These events can fall into two different categories. The first is API actions. API-based events are all actions that create, read, update, or delete any piece of infrastructure in your AWS account. The metrics emitted from CloudTrail contain detailed information of who performs the action, what they did, when they performed it, and a whole bunch of other contextual metadata that may be important. CloudTrail for API access is enabled by default on every AWS account, and it allows you to easily track actions over time. Tracking API actions is great for general knowledge of who's doing what in your account, but what if you'd like to get a detailed audit of all the actions happening to specific resources, like a database? This could be things like insertion events, updates, or deletes. This is where CloudTrail's data event history feature comes into the picture. Using this feature, you can get access to fine-grained event history for all actions performed against your database. This feature is excellent for debugging issues with your service or for security and compliance purposes. Be careful though, high throughput applications can generate quite a bit of log data. Thankfully, this feature is disabled by default and requires you to toggle it on if you'd like to use it. In general, Amazon CloudTrail helps you answer who, what, and when. Our next service is in terms of inventory and compliance. And the name of the service that helps us do that is AWS Config. AWS Config allows you to assess, audit, and evaluate the configuration of your AWS resources. And there's three useful components of AWS Config. The first is the resource inventories feature. Using this feature, you can very quickly and easily see a dashboard that shows you all the different resources in your AWS account and the quantities of each of them. This can be useful to identify lingering resources that are no longer used, or just to get a better idea of what's inside your account. Further, you can use AWS Config to monitor configuration changes to resources over time. After enabling this feature, you get access to a timeline view that shows you the configuration change that was made and when. You also get to see a diff showing the before and after state. This feature gives you a better idea of what your config was at certain times and can be an invaluable tool for debugging. Finally, and possibly most important, AWS Config allows you to add compliance rules to enforce specific setup configurations in your AWS account. For example, say you want to ensure that all S3 buckets created in your account block public access. This is easy enough to do in the AWS Config console. You can simply select one of the pre-created rule sets or define your own if you'd like, if you'd like to enforce a specific rule against all the resources in your account. By using either provided rules or creating your own, AWS Config gives you full flexibility into ensuring that the resources in your account stay compliant. This is perfect for both large companies or small teams. 
So that's all for this video and thanks so much for watching. I do have videos on each of the concepts that I discussed in this video and I'll post links in the description section below. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.